what's up guys KSK all here back again with another video of custom ROM on this channel in this video I will be showing you how to install pixel experience ROM official based on Android 9 Pi on your Redmi K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro this is a detailed guide and made for you guys which includes a step-by-step -step instructions to accomplish the task very easily so watch the video till to the end without missing any part of the video let's get started All right, first thing first, on your Redmi K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro, uh, make sure you're running the latest version of MIUI 10, which includes the latest vendor and firmware files. As you can see, by the time of capturing this video, I'm running 10.3.5 Global Stable ROM on my Redmi K20 Pro. If in case you get any updates on your K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro, just gonna go ahead and upgrade to the latest firmware. To do so, click on the system update, and here you will see the newer updates. Then back to the about page, here tap on the MIUI version 7 times in order to activate the developer settings. Once it's enabled, now head over to the main page of the settings and then select the additional settings, then developer options and make sure a Mi Unlock status should show as unlocked. Basically you need an unlock bootloader and that's the only one a prerequisite which you need for this installation guide. Once your device has unlocked bootloader, then go back to the main page of the settings, here a sign out from me account, a google account and also remove fingerprints, lock screen passwords, pins and face data just to make this installation process hassle free. Once everything is done, now go ahead and back up, back up your important data. This process may require a clean installation method, which means all your data will be erased. So back up your important data, pictures, videos, and everything to the cloud storage or local storage. That being said, and moving on to the step number one, is setting up custom recovery on your Redmi K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro. Now go ahead and check the links in the description box down below and download these files and place it on your Windows desktop for easier navigation. Now once it's done, now go ahead and extract the uh, platform tools which includes ADB and fastbit commands. Once it's extracted, now move this TWRP file image file into this uh, newly extracted directory where ADB and fastbit commands are present. Now highlight the address bar from the top and type cmd to instantiate the command prompt from the present working directory. Then type a dir asterisk image and make sure the twrp file is present on this location. Now switching back to the camera view and now reboot your K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro uh, to boot into the fast boot mode. While it's rebooting, keep holding the volume down button until you see a fast boot logo. When you see this Fastbit logo, go ahead, grab the data cable and connect your device to the computer. Now on your computer, first type a Fastboot devices uh, to ensure that the device is properly connected to the PC and it can be verified by this reference ID. Once it's done, now type a fastboot of flash, recovery, and then type TWRP and press the tab key to autocomplete the whole name and then press the return key or enter key to flash the custom recovery onto K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro. Once it's done, completing flashing the recovery on your K20 Pro, detach the USB cable. Now you need to put your device into the TWRP recovery mode. Uh, to do so, uh, hold power plus volume up for a while until your phone boots into TWRP recovery mode. Now 
When you are inside the TWRP recovery, uh, choose mount option and make sure enable MTP has turned on if in case it is disabled and then connect your phone back to the computer. Now copy this DM variety force encryption zip file to the K20 Pro. Once it's done copying this file and switching back to the camera view again, now select a mount option and make sure system vendor and firmware partitions are selected. Once it's done, now choose install zip option and flash this DM variety zip file. Now select wipe, then choose format data and type yes to remove encryption. This way the TWRP recovery will be set as permanent recovery on your K20 Pro. Now once it's done, reboot back to the recovery. Now moving on to the step number two, uh, downloading the latest Pixel ROM. Go ahead, check the link in the description down below and click on the first link which will land you on this page. And here is search for K20 Pro and you will see uh, by the time of making this video only uh, Android 9 ROMs are available. As of now, I will choose Android Pie Plus Edition, which is a far more superior than the normal edition. If you don't know what is a Pixel ROM Plus Edition, you can watch that video by clicking on this card. Now, go ahead and download the latest ROM from here and copy this downloaded Pixel ROM Plus Edition to your Redmi K20 Pro. Now moving on to the final step of flashing Pixel ROM. Now inside the TWRP recovery mode, before flashing this Pixel ROM, I recommend you to make a backup of your current MIUI 10 just to be on the safer side. If something goes unexpected, you can always restore back to the MIUI 10 very easily. Once it's done uh, backing up this ROM, head over to the main page of TWRP and choose install zip option and select a pixel ROM plus edition and flash it. If in case you see any errors, that's because of your firmware, upgrade to the latest firmware first and then repeat the process. Now as you can see, a pixel ROM is actually flashing properly and I will leave it for a moment and I will be back with you guys on completion of flashing. Once it's done, reboot your system to boot into the Pixel ROM. Keep in mind the first boot might take 5 to 10 minutes and don't disturb your phone. That's it guys, this is how you can install Pixel ROM official on your Redmi K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro. I hope you like this video. If you do, then don't forget to smash the like button down there. Guys, this kind of videos take a lot of time and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future coverage on Redmi K20 Pro. That's it guys, thanks for watching. This is your host KSK Royal. Peace out.